ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, and furs. Trashkin all. Good evening and welcome to Trash Tier Gaming. I'm your humble host, Rasp with Trash Bear, and today we're getting back into Alan Wake 2, where I have, for the torturous period of 24 hours, denied you the conclusion we've told. That did it. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Uh -huh. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Huh. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. She passed the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. Yep. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this yeah. why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot? Probably. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family, way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Okay, before we judge Tor, too, uh, too harshly. And Odin, too harshly. This does add a different light to everything, doesn't it? Imagine being able to know what's going on in somebody else's head and what that does to you. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? I am. Get your guitar roaring, and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. <laughs> Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. Mm -hmm. He needs to rewrite the story first. Why do I feel we're going to see Tom the before this is him. over? You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Rhea never looked back. My girl was strong. Rhea always thought our Bad powers father. had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. Uh. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? 
Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. It involves I the hammer. Blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. Well, you can mend my... bridges now. With Logan. With David. Second. I won't stop until I, I think Odin and Tor will make terrific grand uncle and grandfather, respectively. Well, since we're here. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? story doesn't affect me like it does other people because of who I am because of my family wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending and I'll need to keep an eye on him Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. Oh. There is still time to make him fix it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Wake. I'm telling you, this sounds like Logan to me. Or, this sounds like Scratch using Logan to me. Tor is here, in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. I have no idea what the last piece of evidence there is, but... <clears throat> Jimmy Nature of Mind Pals. Hmm. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place, thanks to their own powers. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. The way yeah. Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. But Mulligan Fortin's pretty much closed off there. Either I'm missing pages or I'm losing my touch. All right. So that opens up three stashes to us. The bolt cutters open up a little more. So 
Why don't we meander the woods a bit? Oh, hello. It's 1988, a face-off mm -hmm. between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something ah. harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Oh, yeah. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. <laughs> the, the FBC is holding Wake eye. at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake, and I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To Wake. Keep our eyes peeled, back clean up, and have ourselves a fine time in the woods. Oh, that we may as well hit the uh... ah, more goodies. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Don't pretend to be anyone or anything besides who you are. Oh, hey. We had a guest lined up. I have it written down here somewhere. What's this say? Jim Figamore. Figamore? Oh, yeah. Figamore. I know that name from somewhere, but... Oh, the lion's lighting up, so that could be him. Hello, you're on with Pat Main. Hey, it's Terry. I'm at the Elderwood Palace Lodge, and there's been a shootout. FBI everywhere. I think somebody's... Dead. I was working the front desk when bullets just started flying. I had to hide under my desk. Oh, gosh, Terry. <laughs> Clearly a bit of embellishment on your part. But it sounds like maybe Russ Hammond's been hunting quail in the off-season again. Quail? You're not listening. They shut up the whole damn hotel. And that's not all. I swear to sweet Jesus Murphy... I saw Alan Wake walk in. Ah. What happened? Alan Wake. Now, is that one of Mandy May's kids? Alan fucking Wake, Pat, the writer. You've talked about him on the show. He disappeared years ago. I'll try to I would have muted myself for a minute longer than I meant to. Hey, Dangers of a touch now. muted See, mic. The irony is I switched to a lighted mic that like dims when you mute it. About. Terry, you were there last and yet I still goof. And who was selling beef jerky in that stall next to yours? Wendy Davis. Davis family beef jerky. Now, how can she be selling me beef jerky on Sunday and be missing since 2010? It's ridiculous. Wendy's fucking dead. I'm talking about Alan Wake, Jesus, Pat. This is serious. I'm trying to put the warning out. There's something wild going on. That there is? I gotta go in case they come back. 
Okay, that was uh, Jim Figamore, everybody, and he'll be running for mayor this... Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, no, that Pat. was... Uh, Pat. That was... Oh, God, Pat. Anyway, that's our show for today. Hello. Yep. Another cult box. We gotta thank them. They've been doing our work for us. That flare design looks pretty good, really. Twist fire, grip designated, clear differentiated, or clearly differentiated, can't hide from the trees. We are everywhere. Heck, man. Hold on. What's this new hotness? Oh, heavy damage on area. Woo! That's a good find. Alright, I think that completes this section. Let's be on around down the hill. Come on, Saka. Thank you. Oh, that's a cool looking island. It's a hell of a sunset. Not making the cover, though. <laughs> All right, let's orient here. She's on the narrow. Definitely want to hit here first. So another safe spot is probably a good idea. Ah. Yep, yep. They dock you all your progress for one year. There we are. Well, let's hear it. The 81st annual Deer Fest was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town lists for its modest rustic charm. The town expected a lot of tourists this year, but a shadow hung over the Deer Fest preparations. Mm -hmm. The forecast promised rain, fearful whispers promised more murders. Oh, the police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings. But to cancel Deerfest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious. Their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The lights seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town. And the shadows poured in with it. What we got? Let's uh, hit the shoe box real quick. I'll spare you the detail work. All right, for this phase, we're gonna. You know what? I changed my mind. I'll drop the rifle for the time being. We're gonna save that for the big dance numbers. Give me those four. All right. 
Yeah, that'll do. And we got. Yep, that'll do. Right, let's see if I find that cult stash. Shouldn't be able to miss that one. Would like to help our way. For a second, I thought that was a deer carcass. More ammo than I wanted to spend, but hey, very fun. Some finds me. That's the first time we dropped anything in one shot that I can remember. Another locked box. There's another cult stash. Hourglass. Tip to tip. It's gotta be a. Double standing. Ah, double standing. Down. Hourglass. All right, no luck. All right, let's try double down. Hourglass. Double standing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fiddle this for a minute, trash can. Come on. Oh boy, this is a rough neighborhood, is what this is. I'm going to put on my thinking cap and I'm going to work this out. So, I'm not going to make you wait through because this is batting cleanup. So, uno momento, Trashkin. Okay, Trashkin, I, I goofed. I goofed. Huh? Double, double down. 
and hourglass. We got word that the feds have Alan Wake in custody. He came through. Or he came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone's on high alert. We need to take the writer out. And spread the word. Ooh. Flashbangs. We haven't seen those in a minute. And more for you wait. All right. Let me get my bearings. We get another stash. And then we can explore that. Oh, and there's another, another back there. Well, I know there's patrolling goons around here, so sooner the better, I'm betting. I'll spare you the return trip, though. Well, trash can I stand corrected? There's two I missed. Well, let's get after it. Probably have another fight on our hands when I wander back, but. Well, such is life. No wonder I missed it. It's back here. A little to the south. Ah, yep. Going right in with the dirt. I gotta pay more attention to the map. Rose at bingo. Every night was bingo night at the Valhalla nursing home. Each time Rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number, some of the residents shouted bingo, no matter what was on their cards. <clears throat> some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. <laughs> some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a cloud of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings, waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Mm -hmm. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker, the darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Ah. <sighs> So I feel like the revisions are scratches work. At least the scrawly ones. You sound like you need coffee world. You sound like you need rehab world. Funds on any of those. Oh ah, well. That's why I like to open with the crossbow these days. I said I'd spare you the return, but you might have missed some funny if I did. <laughs> so I lied. Du, 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 du. Sadly, no upgrade stash for me. Ah, on the bridge. Anything else hiding here? Oh, I should probably cut that. 
Conversation. New choices. Is that bronze? When Cynthia lab. Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cords severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Oh, trash can. That, that sounds like a scratch move if ever I heard one. Yeah, there's there's entire passages struck through and rewritten. Are the rewrites all scratches? I mean, it is particularly scratchy when it's laid over scratched out text. The darkness has perhaps a motive for vengeance. Settle a score with the Anderson brothers. I mean, it doesn't strike me as vengeful. Destructive, yes. Vindictive, yes. Vengeful, not so much. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just yep. kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. Procured, See no doubt. Soon, saga. No doubt, from the museum. If the uh, reserve statue doesn't hold out. Care of those. I don't know. Did I just teleport? Yep. I just teleported. Well, that is problems for someone else. I don't know how, and I do not. Oh. So then stash right by the Elderwood Palace. Well, that's embarrassing. The locked door we can probably get into. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Okay, Trashkin, I'm gonna hike it over to the next dash. Alright, on to fresh territory. Bad idea. Well, that worked out. Oh, I pulled off that reload? 
Hunting season was a butt! Just enough. I think that's all of them. And they dropped an extra arrow for me. Uh, I'll tell you where you can find that extra arrow. In the lake. I appreciate it, but uh, I'm not collecting any more arrows anytime soon. Right up the way. I'm getting that stash before I explore any creepy old buildings. Another one of those cult boxes. Hmm. Well, let's try the house then, since it's locked. Everything loaded? Great. Yank. Remember to check the mud roots for goodies. Engineer stations. Acknowledge and understood. That goes for the both of us, Michaels and me. It was. Not galviating, as you put it, though I was attacked by some rabid animal out in the woods, and Michaels helped me get medical attention in town. You should know that if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received, Vega. It has come to my attention that both of you have left your positions on several occasions while on duty to Caliphant around town on personal business. This is unacceptable. You're under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality as your supervisor. I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find working boring, too bad. You are to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit as the project and as the project requires. I am changing your post. I'll be overseeing watery in the watery area, as it now has the most test sites to cover. The ranger cabin will be my base of operations. Vega, you are moving to Cauldron Lakes Witchfinder Station. Michaels, you are staying in the Bright Falls Station. I don't want to hear excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders, Dr. Eugene Campbell. <laughs> PhD. Woods 2, Ranger Station 1, Boatyard 1. Ah. Uh, that's helpful. Usually not much in these. Another one of those rhymes. Well. A child needs their mother to keep them safe. And a home is their hiding place. Because monsters roam... That's uh, monsters outside of Rome and chase when they ring the doorbell. Don't yell. Don't tell them go away. Give them treats and pray they won't rock your house down to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
here. Oh, that is cool. Greener pastures now. Mm. Oh, can never have too many charms. I wonder what this one does. Oh, another mug. Well, better to have too many than too few. <sighs> I'll do another quick search and see what I find, trash. Well, Trash is ready to pack it in and start recording. Then I decided to do a sweep of the house. Voila. Stash key. Red. Red on a chimney is what we were looking at. Alright, let's get the goodies. Giving the damn things coffee. Finally. Well, now there's less monsters. A handful less, sure. I do suppose that will do. Uh, some bolts out of the deal, but fortunately we got a nice big box worth. I am grateful for the extra magazine capacity, though. It has proved itself damn useful. Huh? How is it? Nighttime just in this region. That's a nerve in his health. Which makes me curious, not so much afraid. Oh, the tree cover no doubt. Another one? Oh, we've been here. Oh, okay, I see where we are. Yeah, this is when I jogged all the way to the south. All right. Well, let's head it up, head it in. Make for the boatyard. Finish our little gallivant. Because we got watery and cauldron lake to do as well. And uh, I think we're already, what, half an hour in? 20 minutes in? 
Well, let me take a look, see. Oh, Lord, we 45 minutes in. Ah. Uh... Well, you're gonna have some derp on backtrack, Trashkin. What can I say? I, I like dithering around and lore hunting. Aha. More pages, more pages. More to arm ourselves with. Oh, this is familiar. box the woods were dark i held my breath i could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees i was scared my heart was beating in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage i shivered i was cold i saw a shape emerge from the trees it was a menacing large shape a bad shape and it looked at me with evil glowing eyes i gasped no it had seen me it growled and lurched toward me I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would save me. I've read worse. But, honestly. Like, occasionally, I like to remind my friends that someone, technically speaking, if it was in the script, got paid to write the line from Halloween, or H2O, Halloween 20 years later. <clears throat> and I quote, tumultuous round melon breasts and LL Cool J managed to keep a straight face while reading that line somehow maybe I reassess my opinion of LL Cool J as an actor clearly underestimated his capability alright we got one more see what we got Five little monsters out on the sea, compel her competing to see who the winner would be. They rock their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried. The sea, she replied, on the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. Uh, monster? see uh right any hints oh there we go that doesn't really give me much to go ah there we are For some reason, my ignition wasn't igniting. Are they going to be kind, or are they going to bounce me all the way back? <laughs> oh, they are be quite kind and generous to me. Okay. Quick! 
Talk of the runner first. Got it. You know, I thought I was just gonna stroll through, but no. Cost a fair bit of ammo. Hope whatever I find's worth it. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Another charm. Chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. Probably not using it, but nice to have all the same. I wonder if they only programmed the locks to be cut in one direction. Sure, we got those dolls. Awesome. All right, now let's see what the. And oh no, I guess we just had one really weird instance. Well, that'll happen. Now, if I remember correctly, Bright Falls proper. There's a cult stash. Ah, there Another we are. cult stash? Alright. There we go. Fear the woods. Fear the woods! And a whole... Oh, four shotgun shells. How generous. Thank you. Alright, can't reload here. Fine. Oh. 
I should do a little bit of board work, uno momento, trash. And I would have just left it at that, but... Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. But when you start a new case, it will just drop you in. I'll spare you the rest of the details on this. The darkness that protected the Taken saw it waver and jerk. Saw a shifting, opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. And I said he'd cash in on the way home. Because having the ability to preempt these honkies is terrific. Wish I could have it on crossbow, but no, well, if wishes for fishes. Right. So there's one room we can definitely open now. Hello? Still at it. I can't force it open. Can we not? Actually. Hello. Ah. Lock door and we don't have a key. Nobody's at the desk now. Now, no rack o keys. All right, I might have been mistaken. Uno momento. I just hope Billy's boatyard doesn't turn into a gunfight again. Ah, well, Trashkin. I was hoping to get the next chapter started, but as it turns out, batting cleanup is a whole to do. Well, no wonder I didn't see it. Should have used the shotgun. Should have used the shotgun. I'm I'm looking in the deep grass for this, and I'm humming up, <laughs> coming up goose eggs. All right. Oh, you're gonna make me do this again? Okay. Okay, game. Well, Trashian, I'm gonna spare you the detail work on the. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's hear it. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero... Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero... liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Oh.
Oh. We missed a second cultist stash. I'll uh, tune you back in after I catch up. Well, Trashkin, we snagged that one, and as it turns out, that was a little harder to see. Well, we got two chunks to cut out at the uh, out at the trailer park and. Cavella Knights Workshop. One more here. And a stash to snake for our troubles. Let's see if anything's over here. How's it going? Should probably be commenting about you damned FBI kids and your bolt cutters right about now, but... towards the top there. Okay, I see what you're playing at. Okay, that's actually pretty slick. Another cult box. Two, two, five. One, two, five. No. Lighthouse, lighthouse. I don't see a dang lighthouse. Ooh, I like the fourth deer, though. Well, Trashkin, I'm gonna have to puzzle this for a minute, so uno momento. Okay, I got it, 697. I think it's the fish sees the series of numbers upside down, but I... I brute forced it. <laughs> if you steal from the cult, then the cult will come for you. Hey, an inventory upgrade. Terrific! Now, now we have space enough to haul around that great big rifle of ours. Everything, I think I picked up a bunch of stray... Yeah, I picked up a bunch of stray 308 rounds. I was out and about. Okay. Let's, uh... Do the cha-cha slide. So that'll eat two full lines of it, but hey. Greatness comes at a cost. I think we got one more. Yeah, there is a stash in there. There's some locks. Oh, right, there was that lock. She wouldn't just wander off and not tell us. Especially after all the weirdness of the lock. Let's uh, take a look at novel storage, shall we? Oh, well, there's a deer to pet. Okay. They're all so soft and sad. Mm. Weird place for a deer head, but... <clears throat> I suppose I could just use the bolt cutters. Dear Diary, Alan contacted me again today. There was a message for me hidden in the newspaper. He wanted to make sure I was ready for his arrival. What a silly thing to even ask. Of course I'm ready. Duh, Alan. Oh, and Norman got into the dried apricots at work again. I swear, we'll have to fumigate the place. For those of you that don't know why that's a problem, a lot of fiber. A lot of gas. Dear Diary, 
Some guy at the diner got mad that I brought him a piece of cherry pie and demanded a free piece of apple, but he totally ordered cherry, and when I pointed out that he already took two bites of the cherry, he said he thought it was apple. Apple pie and cherry do not look the same. <laughs> okay, the doodles are amazing. Sad unicorn. <laughs> Eyebrow waves. I told him he could order another piece, but he'd have to pay for it, so he got mad and started screaming about leaving me a bad review. Like I care about reviews. Anyway, I took his piece of pie and told him babies shouldn't be eating sweets. He shouted, then left. Some people. Dear Diary, Cynthia's been acting up lately. I think she's turning into a you know what. Lots of you know what popping up lately. I'll be sure to keep an eye on it. If things get out of hand, I can always get out the rifle. I'm sure Alan would appreciate me keeping the place safe. Please don't let Rose be, be the Herald of Darkness's pawn. Please, game. Everybody still reading in the bathroom? Nope, emptied out. <laughs> It won't open. Okay. Well. One of us needs to stay at the lodge in case Marcy shows up. And the other one should go out looking for her. If we can't... Marcy's work, missing. We're sure to find some tracks or something. Some hints to her whereabouts. We can even use some of our equipment. This is not the time to geek out over the stupid gear, Riley. It's all toys anyway. Indeed, this is no time for gadget prawn. But I'd believe that a little more if you weren't fiddling with the phone, champ. Aha. Bingo! A trash can. Ah. Uh, Another locked box. Yeah. This has changed a lot. For one, that fence used to be picket. And for two. Oh, would you look at those foot lamps up there? Somebody on the sheriff's apartment still knows. Work log. Over Pleasure's Town Hall, folks complaining about a poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. Took a photo of the giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Park's trash can needed a fresh coat of paint. Painting an extra layer. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area. Had an epiphany. Replace screw on purple park bench. Due to the pain. Giant moose. Oh, it's a scavenger hunt, Trashkin. It's the best kind, one where I don't get into active combat. I will bet the hints are buried here. Alright, so they repainted the purple bench. You remember how it went last time? The sacrifices we made? The pain? It's happening again. That's chilling. We uh. learned from the last time, didn't we? Fought our way through it. Held fast. Did and we? Look at us. As thick as thieves. Please tell me you're running lines for the play. So that is disturbing. To hear. At the best of times. 
How's it going, buddy? Double up. Side by side. Paint the big tree, but it was too hot. I'm sure whatever is coming is going to be a cakewalk. Ah, uh, we got the scent now, Trashkin. Now I just, uh, gotta find the heckin' thing. Or would it be the trash can, maybe? Oh, I... Maybe the back of a bench? I don't see any purple bench. Alright, Trashkin. Well, I'm not going to make you watch me do laps around the park. So, so thinking about it, Trashkin. They said Town Hall, right? Town Hall is one of the other paint jobs. People complained about the reception. Important reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. So, we should look for an antenna dish. Don't think Town Hall's marked, though. Oh, well, hell. So, I need to be looking for... Oh, ah, oh, there it be, there it be. Mountains, side by side, or bottom to bottom. Uh, okay, Trashian. I'll spare you me trying the combinations and get right to it. Well, the first two were wrong, but... It goes mountains, bottom to bottom, and... Double up. Monsters live in the woods indeed, sir. Thank you. Well, I think... Alright, uh... Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his... It. Yep, we already did that. I, I just want to finish... The cult stashes... In Bright Falls, baby. Which I had to do twice because reasons. <laughs> I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Well, Uno Momento Trashy, and I gotta check something. Oh, okay, Trash I forgot it reset. I, I didn't get the inventory upgrade either, so back to the wharf. I'll spare you the rework. Ah, huh, weird. That one's stuck. Okay, I just saw the lock and assumed. So I made an ass of myself. Go figure. Well, if it's on here, I'm not seeing it. So we're going to wazzle ourselves on over. Those people just burst in here and expect others to clean up To the sheriff's them. department. And see what the heck's up. I think... Wait! Cauldron Lake. And, and, and Watery. I forgot. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, let's start with Cauldron. Hey, here we go. I'll spear you the loading screen. Somewhere around here. Ah, there she be. All right, let's hear it. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Mm -hmm. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story. But they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. All right, trash can. Oh. I, I see my mind palace upgrade undid itself as well. Okay, not a problem. We can fix that right now. Aiming through the scope. Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken, saw it waver and jerk, saw a shifting opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. Okay. Nothing else to do? Terrific. Well, Trashkin, I'm gonna blow this popsicle stand and get to watery. All right, Trash, and this time, in an effort to work smarter, not harder, we're going to hit the far side first. The Calvavela Knights. Let's see what goodies they're hiding in the, the back lot. Besides the stash. Oh god, it's still running. <laughs> For a minute, I'm like, ah, I'm in. Wait, that's still rolling. I thought the, I thought the, the D cells would have gone in that thing for sure by now. But a couple of hours. Ah, oh, dude, hot dog cart. Kiosk. That makes an excellent bench upside down. I wonder if that was part of the design. Oh, I know it's somewhere here. Oh, let's score that container. Another rocket flare. That'll get put away for later. Ah, there it is. There's another cult stash. Oh, my God. 
Whoops. Well, fortunately, I only have to jog all the way back from Watery. That's, uh, that's a rough grind right there. Well, so much for working smarter. All right, Trashian. We need a neighborhood watch. Keep incidents like the one in Bright Falls. I'll spare you the return trip. But yeah, that's that's the conversation over there. Largely, how did this happen here? Okay, same play again, but this time I'm kicking things off with a rocket flare. There's another cult stash. Opening in the darkness. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> situation here. Stop I'm getting the question if this stash is worth it. Well, again. Okay, same thing, same opening gambit with protein tanks in tow and, uh, and, uh, healing already taken, hand, or taken care of because I was rolling in at half health. Mama. And of course, no bits refunded on this one. So it took a rocket flare and propane tank, but we got it. <sighs> so, I rewatched the footage between runs. Oh. 
got the count. So the total is 542. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Not thrilled. I think this is going to wind up being a part of a double drop day, Trashkin. I think I'm just going to pop up front and go, Look, Trashkin, this is mostly me lore hunting and uh, doing odds and ends. If you don't care for that, skip an episode. Some folks edit themselves to look smart or more capable or just to make the gameplay look better. Hence Trash Tier. I don't do any editing to make myself look better. I just cut it off when it gets boring. <sighs> Bob Willing. I have to deal with any peckin' wolves. But just in case that we do. We overwrite and we roll. Oh, which reminds me. Let's see, we had Junk and reserve. Let's see, did I miss anything down here? Nope, just could get through the fence, which we're gonna remedy right now. Hee <laughs> hee. Sounds like another nursery rhyme. Shotgun rounds. Great. Oh. to do it, but if it's your me, I know who I pick. I think I liked them better when they hung out in front. into that one. I didn't have to open the door. Another rhyme. Uh, let's see what we got here. The old man who could not see had no children of his own. So he cared for a fawn not yet grown. For the deer. The, for the deer. For him was dear. And filled his life with love. Alright. Uh... Doesn't look right. Right. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, hey, another charm. Look at that. Another... Dear Fist Charm, slightly increases time before darkness shields regenerate. Handy for you slowpokes out there. Not that there's anything wrong with being timely about these things. Attached utility garage converted to fisherman's paradise. Well, uh, that's gonna do can't it. Get the dolls. Might need them again. Damn it. I thought I was free! But that's gonna do it for Watery. We're gonna head back in and I'll tune you in around the block from the Sheriff's Department. See you in a bit. Alright, Trash. And with that, I think we got most of Watery sewn up. And I did forget to go get that hacking, hacking computer. Okie dokie. I don't like the sound coming from the station. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Power's out. Always a good sign. There's Taken inside. Alright, that's... That's where we dipped Alan's side of the story, Trashkin. I, uh... I ran out of my gum. Come on, Saga. Time oh, to get I back don't get to a work. Choice. I don't get a choice. Anyone here? I'm here, in the closet. Agent Estevez? Is that you, Anderson? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't... taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. God, the Night Falls police force is never going to recover. All clear, Estevez. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. Oof. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. Yes, we should. Hell is the FBC doing here? What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? We came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but mm -hmm. it's worse than Heard we it. could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything oh, since Oh, shit. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources. Problems at HQ. To say the least. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. 
Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. I'll need these keys. Hold it. And that trash can's where we're going to call it. I had to split another episode because I, I got swept up in the feeling. And ran ahead of time like usual. And two and a half hours is asking a little much of sit time for anyone, I dare say, if, at least if it's not Skyrim. So I'd like to thank you all for coming out. I'd like to thank you all for watching, especially those of you that have been here at the start of the Halloween special. Those of you joining us for the first few times, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing and joining the Trashkin and I around the trash fire if you've been enjoying yourself. And of course, you can be notified when the trash fire is lit, if you care to, and help out the channel. Of course, likes and comments are also deeply appreciated, or dislikes. You're, you're a big, strong Trashkin. I'm not going to tell you what to do. And, as always, I'd like to remind you all to hydrate, medicate, count your spoons, and take care of yourself as best you can. Don't forget to tell the people you love you give a good damn. Go play some games. Good night, and I'll see you all in the next one.